Hey, I'm joined here today with Tunde. Hi Tunde, how are you? Not too bad at all, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So I'm excited to have you here today. Uh, you've got a bit more different interest to in, within the industry compared to Graham. Would you like to tell us a little bit about where, what side of it that you're in? Yeah, well, basically I'll do a bit of um, haulage and also uh, passengers. So we're talking about coach drivers, bus drivers, and there's quite a bit of a difference in regards to bus drivers and haulage in regards to um, logistics and also legislation, that sort of thing. Oh, okay, great. So how did you get into that yourself? I kind of fell into it. Um, I used to run a recruitment agency and we used to supply drivers, coach drivers and, and also HCB drivers to various different companies. And then when it came to a point where they needed a transport manager, the director turned to me and said, you like studying? I said, okay. So I went on a course, became a transport manager and I thought, well, it's probably better for me to do that than be on call 24-7 working for a recruitment agency. And that's the reason why I fell into it. Oh, okay, great. So you've just, you sort of fell into it and you, you do you enjoy it a lot? Yeah, it's a lot better. There's a lot of variety with, within it. Um, every day is a different day. Um, every day is a different a school day as well for me. I learn different things from individuals and I like to learn, so that's, that's good. That's great. So what do you think is the main reason for a shortage at the moment of drivers? I think there's lots of different reasons. Um, we know about the COVID already. That's, that affected every single person when we think about it. And obviously there's a backlog of HDB tests and that sort of thing. But I think also Brexit didn't help either. It, there's, a, there's a long list when we come to think about it. But if you look back maybe 10 years ago, there was still a shortage. When I was looking for drivers for the agency, it was still quite difficult to find them. Yeah, so, I mean, I, think, I don't think cheap things have changed that much to how they were um, some time ago. Yeah, sure. Um, so how would you, how would you recommend uh, the best way for new drivers to get into the industry? I think, personally speaking, I think the best way is probably um, agencies. I say that because at the moment everyone wants drivers and if you go to an agency obviously they'll be able to sell you to various different companies you can get a lot of experience and um, with experience you can choose what sector you want to go into whether it be bus sector or also or the haulage sector so I think yeah agencies is probably a good way to actually get into the industry. And how do you think the industries could be a bit more diverse or letting people know that anyone can be a driver if they would like? I think it's all down to advertising, isn't it, when you think about it. I mean, if you had an, uh, a job advert which said, obviously, uh, maybe we'll be welcome applications from you know, different ethnic groups, or welcome applications from different genders, etc., I, I think that would work, that would help. And even the pictures, when we think about it, it's always of a, I don't know, a hairy driver <laughs> behind a wheel, etc. You don't see any um, females as such, you don't see any ones of colour, that sort of thing. And I think that really says a lot in regards to where we are at at this moment in time. Mm. So what would be your top three favourite things about the industry? Coffee, lots of coffee, <laughs> that's, 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 that's number one. And also the second thing would be people, meeting different people, and whether it be drivers, whether it be other transport managers, whether it be even yardmen, etc. I think that's always um, useful to, you know, to meet all these different people. And as well, I think it's a great um, career path really. You don't have to stay as a driver, you can move up, become a planner, become a transport manager, become a fleet manager even as well. So there's a lot of opportunities within uh, the, the industry as well? I think so, definitely. You just have to go out there and try. That's great, okay thank you very much. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button.